You see... I made Matt Connington admit that he's a fucking, lying, two-faced, punk-ass bitch. Because obviously he's got an ego. Okay? You suck his dick, you kiss his ass, because he's on an FM radio station. Whoopee, whoopee. But I got him to admit that he's conceited. I got him to admit in front of all of you that he stuck up. As a matter of fact, I might I think I have a new name for Matt Connington. I think his name is going to be uh, the Boy Scout. Yeah, the Boy Scout. <laughs> uh, I came up with that name hours ago and I forgot why. Obviously, there's a story to it of why I was calling him the Boy Scout. But, you know, I challenged Matt Connington to a physical confrontation with me to say to my face what he's been saying all along to you people about what a racist I am and what an anti-Semitic. Hey, I think I'm more racist than anti-Semitic. You know, after all, Jesus, which is the enemy of the Jews, was a Jew himself. But he was a good Jew. He wasn't like, you know, I don't have to say it. I don't have to repeat it. It is obvious what they have become in modern times. But the one thing that they're consistent of is uh, trying to destabilize governments and institutions for their own Selfish, greedy reasons. And I don't have to like anybody if I don't want to. I don't have to like the inferior people, the chocolatos. I don't have to like the people I've just been talking about. I don't have to like anybody. Nobody's going to force me to like anyone that I don't want to like. By the way, I'm a little tired right now. I've been doing a lot of recording and a lot of editing here in my my world-famous studio. I call it world-famous because it's world-famous for me, not everybody else. But I've had people actually come here and see my studio in person, and they were impressed. So I've been doing a lot of editing and recording, and um, wow. My microphone is, I'm about maybe six feet from my microphone and it's actually picking me up because I have such a loud voice. Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 p.m. And we might go a little bit above, I don't know. Two hour shows are usually okay for me, but sometimes I like, I could do three hours. I've done four hours. This show of shows. Let me tell you something, you motherfuckers. I know that 99% of the people here, well, not quite 99%, but close to 99 or 98 or 97% are my enemies here. And I don't need to impress you motherfuckers with anything. I'm very sure of myself. As a matter of fact, I only mention it because this is my fucking channel. You invaded my fucking page. I didn't invade your page. You invaded my page and then you tried to deplatform me. You are a bunch of rotten scumbags. You know that? But, I, you know, revenge and getting back at you motherfuckers is sweet. And it's going to be sweet. Because you're all in trouble. My enemies out there like uh, the Matt Connington's and, and whatnot, and the Dirt Dickwads and the Billy Faggot Painters. You know who I'm talking about. You are a bunch of slime bags. And let me tell you something, especially to Matt, because Matt has the, the bigger platform than the other people I mentioned. They're too busy being on crack or smoking crack or doing meth. You know, Matt's a, a straight-up guy. I don't like him, but he's a straight-up guy doing this show. And he's the big cheese uh, in that circle. The circle that came to my page. I never invited you motherfuckers to come to my page. You decided to come 
here. But I'm going to tell you who you are, like the Jared and Slime Bag fucking show, that faggot bitch that has a fucking purse, wears a fucking, carries a purse with him. And all you lowlifes out there, you know who you are. You're all in trouble, especially Matt, because I'm going to take away his fans. I'm going to take away his people. I am much too known now. It's too late to uh, turn around. Okay? These people promoted me. These people talk shit about me. Character assassinated me. It's too late now. I'm here. I'm here in the center of their fucking universe. But you know what's going to happen? Okay? They're going to be in the center of mine, which they are already. All these fucking jerk-offs, they're all obsessed with me. They think about me every day, especially Billy Faggot Painter. He thinks about me every day. I got space in his fucking mind because he's a fucking retard. You know what all these people got in common? They're all boring. They don't know how to do fucking shows. They're not talented, especially in my fucking league. But Wednesday, 7 o'clock, it is the start of your demise. It is D-Day. It is the start of your demise. You are all done. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen right away. But it's going to fucking happen. It's going... I got to fly in here. Holy shit. What the fuck? Um, not a fly, a bug. Oh, he's still going. Wow, they're fast. Shit, that's how you learn Kung Fu. Oh, catch bug in air. Oh, what are you doing now? You think I'm going to catch you now? Fucking assholes. Yeah, that's right. I'm a fucking, uh, whatever you say I am, you know me better than I know myself. But you know what? You're going to get all, you, all you motherfuckers are going to pay the price. My revenge is going to be sweet because when your fans realize what a bunch of fucking, they probably realize it now. Okay, but you know what? I'm taking over and I'm taking your fucking fans. They're all going to come to the crazy Joe show because they're going to know if they're smart, unless they're retarded like you fucking jerk offs are. If they're smart, they're going to realize who has the better show, who has the better content and who knows how to put a show together and who is the real professional and all four point to the crazy Joe show. I am the fucking man. I am the fucking greatest. I am a visionary. I am a revolutionary. I am the savior of real rock and roll music. Okay? Rap is going to lay down. Because I am going to take on the rap crap shit. And I'm going to defeat it. And we're going to, and we're going to get Joe's rock and roll army to invade and protest in front of MTV Studios and Sony Records, and demand that we have a rock and roll segment. Believe me, there's so much for Crazy Joe to do on the horizon, I can't even fucking think about it and actually get to it, because I'm so dedicated to my show. But I will be working on the formation of Joe's Rock and Roll Army. It doesn't matter anymore. You're all done. I'm taking over, and I'm taking over your fans. I'm going to be the greatest internet show of all time. Because I believe it. And if I believe it, it's true. I have an anonymous donor out there donating to my show because they believe in me because I haven't even done a real show yet. And what's incredible about about this donor, they've heard my Crazy Joe show demos. They haven't heard a real show yet. And they came out of their wallet And went to my website and donated. I don't want a fucking thing from you motherfuckers. Because you're not my real fans. You're a bunch of scumbags. Cocksuckers. Fuck you. Keep on rocking. Because you don't. I do. And my fans are going to keep on rocking.